waiting, just waiting, just waiting. Love the hate. What's good, bro? Money Manzu. What's good, Brody? What's poppin', G? Where you at? I seen you on the road, doggy. That's what I like to see. It's a road man. He's a road man. Which town you in, bro? Let me know if you know. Tell me if you know where I am. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, what's up, bro? Chilly, man. I'm going to tell you who you are, man. I thought you could tell, man. Oh, shit. What is this place, bro? What do you say? We have some emergency. Do I do it in the pharmacy right now? Oh, shit. Sorry, bro. Tick tock, yeah, bro. Fuck. I knew it. How's sorry, my connection? Yeah, bro. Ha ha. Sorry, tick tock, boss. Kade kade yehde bar mein hum de. Kade kade. Buffering a little. Galt plus khata janta. Kya pain? Kya tear? Ti doai. Yeah yeah. Lehi yeh diya. Kaise ne pakode pude khale yar? Na yar ko get some fucking. Medication for that. Kati ala gya mein jo bande ne kya? You gotta get that gravel or some shit. Yeah, yeah, gravel. I, I think I think gravel is throw up still. Gravel is huh? throw up. Gravel is your bad jo pach dani bro. Yo, gravel like that shit's like people be popping that shit to go to sleep these days. I don't know why. Shit's fucked up. You ask me. They probably have people, different different versions, dog. People be trying some. Let's try this Indian pharmacy right now. Kita bire. Oh, yar, jadi dawai dawai tu pelan si si, hon katiya lagiya. Tad do hara. Hein? Dawai na ni. Oh, baacho hono ke na bhi thoda ya lose motion ho gaya. Hon koi dawai. Oh, ek goli, oh ek goli, ek goli kya si? हाँ हम होली चाहिए है दूजी गोली चाहिए है पिछे कम सील कर एज लाइक फिफ्टी फोर नहीं नहीं तुरद फिर वादिया थोड़ा जा कम ऑर्डर गोली गोली नहीं है कोई तू दस यार फार्मासिस्ट आ तू Medication right now. Guys, why? Let me show you. Let me show you the Gandhis and shit down here. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's on every bill, eh? I think so. Move a lot of that. Yeah, pretty sure so. Yeah, he's on every bill. Sure. Another hundred dollar bill too. Oh, no, no. एक तो लेनी है, अधी गोली सेरे, दूजी एक की गोली लेनी है, आ दो दो गोलियां लेनी है ना, आ एक गोली है, दूजी आ एक एक आ टाटे का टेबल है ना, ओके, वो एक गोली सेरे शाम लेनी है, अस्सी पे और पूरी होंगे, केरी अधी, आ, आ अधी ले तो आप पूरी दे, ओके ठीक है, पूरी है, ओके, चार टाइम दी गो चल ठीक है ऑर्डर के ना ऑर्डर दिया नहीं नोट जी गोली है ओके लिक्विड ज़्यादा तो ज़्यादा लेना हल्का कर ओके ठीक है बस किन्हें पड़े यार भी तीन शिट्स मैड एक्सपेंसिव दिस डे इस इन्फ्लेशन मैन फिफ्टी रुपी दस चीप डॉग दस थर्टी सेंट वाइज दस थर्टी सेंट one dollar in shit for this. Dog, you the first time, the first time I, the first time I came to India and shit, I was like giving everybody like five hundred rupees, being like, yo, it's like seven, eight bucks. It's all good. But but when you but when you start getting groceries and shit, you're like, damn, this is what I can get for. Get that, buddy. 
Yeah, right. So, yo, when 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 you go get groceries, you're like, yo, this is how much bread costs. This is how much sabzi costs. You're like, god damn, ten rupees and shit. Yo, that shit yeah, is yeah. mad expensive. Start negotiating, panji panji rupee and shit. But like in the beginning, you don't give a fuck. Like now, I don't give a fuck either. We got some production and entertainment center over here. Oh, you can't even see that. That's some badass. But anyways, what are you blazing up, dog? Blazing up and shit. First world luxuries. I'm not paying too smart. I'm not paying too smart. I'm paying too bag bag later. Yeah. Yo, look at check this menu out right here. Got the dooli chicken, chicken tikka, mutton curry, fish, paneer tikka, paneer curry, rolls and lassi. But yeah. So, yeah, bro, I was just showing you that that whack ass NBA ambassador we have for India and shit. That's the oh, representation. He's, a, he's the real ambassador, bro. That's the that's the ambassador, my brother. Can you post it in here? Can you post it in here? I don't know, cause I'm not hosting and shit. Oh, true. I'm not hosting. Yeah, whoever is hosting it. Yeah, bro. True, true. It's uh, it's uh, it's pretty sad. We got these guys down here with these heavy accents. We need some fine ass shorties talking about basketball and shit. Yeah, yeah, I seen that before. Still, I seen that. But it's mostly like these bitches that are like failed actresses and shit. They just tell them to go do like, like yo, go in that lane. Go be a reporter over there. Go be a reporter over there. Go on like MTV India or go in NBA India or whatever. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, they're not really like sports analysis or whatever like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, they yeah. They just can't make enough money off one thing, so they gotta have a day-to-day -day thing too. Yeah, yeah. This is be... mad hustles for these actors here. They're like, so, so, so. Then Veer Singh is the real NBA ambassador and shit. I mean, like, they're using him as like the image. He got to go play at the All Star game. He's fucking like. <laughs> But there, so did he's, they. So did they back in the day. There, Abdavich and Sud and shit. I'm yeah. I seen him do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he was just kind of <laughs> like, yo, like, fuck this. He, like, he, it makes you look less than the NBA mandoms and shit. Like, you know, it's like you're kind of like treating them like superstars and shit. Like, you got to be a super fan. You know what? Yeah. Uh, well, for him, it, for him, it worked. Like for him at work, like he was all star. He was all star player, but like he didn't do too much. Whereas this guy's like, he's trying to be a Golden State Warrior fan and shit. Like that's kind of crazy to me and shit. Like, yo, that's that's a little too much and shit. Like yeah, like like some of those videos I think... I've seen him posting on social about like showing his NBA side was mad cringe, dog. Like we got a ball court here where I'm staying right now, and like yeah. all these kids. Like they're pretty decent, bro. Like you know, they're, they're, and they taught themselves and shit. Like they're pretty good. Like sometimes, like everybody like, teaches themselves. Like, bro. Yeah, like no, but still, like our, we have basketball culture and shit well, look, in Canada. Well, look at you. But you're born. You're born in India, right? Yeah. But you're, but, like, like, you're like nastier than like culture. You're not. You're nasty. Like you were on the ball team. Whereas yeah. guys who call themselves big ass. The best, biggest, most no, no, like, no. Those basketball guys got fight. nerds and shit. Like they didn't make the team and shit. So were they some, really some, like you know? Some of these, some some of these people got cut. They still, they still be hating for those. They're taller. You than know when you walk up some of them. Yeah, you know when you walk up to the gym, fucking the teacher's office and shit, and there's like a list outside. That's like the most yeah. like intense moment of your life and shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, I've been in that list, dog. Like, not for basketball. That moment when you walk short, there, I've and then, like, I, I, when, you're, when your name's not on there, then you got to knock on the teacher's door and shit. No, you got to pretend like you weren't looking. You got to pretend like you weren't looking if your name's not on there, dog. You got to pretend like, yo, you yeah. were just walking in the hall and shit, yo. You wasn't really looking. You're not there to check Bro. and shit. Yo, <laughs> that's the saddest point, man. Like, when your name's not on the list and shit. Like. Yo, I think his name's is not damn. on the list. That he's, moment, he's, that he's moment needs to be, list, that needs to be a motion picture of what it feels like to not be on that list. Because only people, some people will understand 
the importance of walking up to that list. Yeah, like Avin G, Avin G knows. Avin G knows that feeling too. Avin G knows that. Like real people know that feeling when you work your ass off for the summer <laughs> and you know you have tryouts coming out, and you're in there yeah. busting your ass. Genetically, like I went to a school where there's a lot of college, right? Naturally, like I didn't yeah. go to all brown school. Everybody, is, so like in Brampton, it's like that. If you're in Brampton, you're dealing or, with a genetically disadvantage with running, stealing, shooting, all that shit. Yeah, yeah, but there's other advantages. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. So, but yo, that was that was fucking sick, man. Like, uh, I would say though that that's the one of the most memorable times. So I wonder. I wonder. I wonder if guys like a uh, guys like uh, whatever fuck I, can't, I forgot his name. But yo, I I wonder if the ambassador of India basketball or whatever, if they actually play college ball or high school ball. I wonder still. Yo, wonder honestly, still. if you go to these prep schools, these wealthy schools, as part of the curriculum and shit, they have like no, the ball on teams the team and, shit. and shit on the team. And shit. But it's just. Not... Nah, bro. I wonder. Yo, how many on the ball court? Like, like I didn't play ball for, for so long, I, and I was. Still... I never seen. I see. I seen the Jeep dribble back in the days. You remember that one Dude, movie where just... he was dribbling and shit? Yo, something about our people, the way they move in music videos and game, sports bro, and yeah. shit. It's just like something. You're for like, <sighs> dog. Like, I don't know what to say, man. No, I see guys here that can do it Yeah, yeah, like it's part of the culture there. Like it's but part I also basketball, see guys baseball. In India now that are a lot better, like their jumpers and shit look normal. Dude, people, like it's not yeah, like, like no, shooting their jumpers. double hand granny shots and shit. <laughs> yeah, they ain't doing that like double dribble shit and like trying to like shoot it. But if you go to the pen, with, like, but if you go to the pen and, and you give out to a random a random youth in the pen pen and shit. They're probably gonna fucking just. Yeah. They're probably gonna dribble like that. Yo. They 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 just, they're gonna kick the ball into the cage and shit. They're like fancy like. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they don't give a fuck, bro. That's how they're gonna try to jack it. First of all, they're gonna try to jack it. That's their first. Yeah. And they get the fuck. it. They're gonna be like. They're gonna be like. Tere jaan to paacho mein rakh sakta. Then they'll be happy. That makes their day. Bro. Yeah yeah like yo they be See? waiting. They be waiting, bro. They they be salivating and shit. That's just jokes. That's just super. But yeah, man. That's just it is. I got a few more days now. You know the atmosphere here. It's like a lot of people telling me it's it's. To me, it isn't. I don't see like a big change of what what they're making Punjab look like in the media and shit, bro. Like they're making it look like shit's hitting the fan here. I think, like it is in a sense, but I think it's just like it feels so empty now. Like everybody knows that all the Punjabis, they're just get doing their highlights and dipping. Like they're doing whatever they can to get the fuck out, and all these other states are moving in. You know, so like we're becoming a minority in our own state, which is cool, but. Because you know we're expanding worldwide, we're also in other states. I think people forget that too, that we exist in other states in India as well. We're not just Punjab and Punjabis. We're all yeah, over India. But, know, that, but like this I like shit. It's like yo, people be doing it. They be I'll say this. It. I'll say this, bro. Over here, it's a scene, bro. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a scene out here. Out it's here, dead bro, out here. It's a scene out here. It's like dead the Mount- to before pandemic, that's for sure. But I mean, like nobody wants to stay there because, like, yo, if you're looking at it, like everyone's scared of their bapu and shit. There, you know what I mean? Like over here, they're like fucking coughing and shit. They go first thing they do is go get their ears pierced and put a tattoo on their arm. Like that's the first thing they do as soon as they get here. They got yeah, that care like, package, you know what I mean? Like a souped like, up care package that. Like, yo, I don't live with mommy and daddy no more care package. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, that's their first day. As soon as they get here, pardon me, yeah. I am, but, like, that's what happens. Because, they, like, like oh, oh. it's their first time, like, a lot of these, a lot of youths, it's their first time out of the crib. So, some of them, they're going to be little bitches about it, but uh, some of them are going to be, take that. They're going to be like, you know what, bro? One pancho. 
You know? Let's fucking go crazy. Mm-hmm. Let's go crazy. Yeah, because when you're... Having... When you're living, like, the friend, I'm friend... No ball, bro. When you're living the friend, friend life, like, it's very difficult to go one up and live the city boy life that everyone else is living in India. But when you come to Canada, you're kind of all equal living the city boy fucking dream. <laughs> nice car, apartments, you know, traveling. Not, yeah, like, yo, it's, it's, it's equal there, too. But over there, everyone's scared of the Bapu because the Bapu has so much power. Like, over here, what are you going to really do, dog? Like, come on, fam. It's Canada, dog. Like, yo, Bapu dog can't tell you nothing over here. Bapu over can't here, tell you nothing. Over there, it's a different story, bro. Like, yeah, like it's Bapu Jimmy and shit. Yeah, like as long like every time I go there when my nana was alive and shit. Like every time I go there, cause I never like I, my grandfather, I never met him up there, right? Like, yeah. he was already in Canada and shit. So, but so when it like when I used to go there, even when you go like if it's a small shad and shit, everyone knows the map, you know. So it's like, mm-hmm. you can't really fuck around in a sense. Like, you can't really fucking just light up blunts and walk down the street because everyone knows the man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like, you it's, can, a, it's a different vibe. You can, it's, you can, but, like, they got they got, they, they got their security at, like, you, you won't even know yeah, that they'll have some people watching you while you're there. Yeah. It's just you a know? different vibe, like, when I'm back home in the fair compared to when I'm in, like, a bigger city, you know? Because people don't know each other and shit. Yeah, Whereas yeah. in the band, it's like everybody knows everyone. They're like, oh, that munda and shit. Oh, that band is and like, they everyone's got yeah. an eye on you and shit. So yeah, like, definitely. Like, yo, we used definitely. to smoke on the, we used to we had to we used to smoke on the corti, like hiding behind the fucking yeah, like the fucking water thing. You know what I mean? Like because yeah, yeah, yeah. like. Because the guys that live there be like, yo, someone's going to see you and shit. Then they're going to make a big scene. Just hide there. Like, smoke it. Doesn't matter if it's day or night. Just go up there. And, like, because I used to do it, like, right off the balcony, you know? Because I had, I, in my room, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, I have a separate wall. Like, it's a brand new house, right? So, well, it's not a new, yeah, brand yeah, yeah, new yeah. now. But, it's, but, like, when I was there, it was brand new. But it's one of the... So, so I had, like... The architecture. There's, there's the walk- yeah, there's, like, a walkout to, like, the big balcony where everyone can sit and shit. Then each yeah. room have its own little like step out balcony and shit, but like it's it's still like you can still see it because everyone's quarters that level and shit, right? Like, but yeah, then yeah, when yeah. you're away when you're way on the top level and shit, when you don't live then, there, you trust we don't even give a fuck. You're like, yo, I'm gonna light this shit up. I'm not gonna be here. Yeah, it don't really matter to me. Still, yeah. Me neither, man. Like, yeah. my grab, like yo, people know, like, they like their videos and shit. What do you want me to say? Like, I don't smoke? I have BB on that be like cutting sabji and shit. And I'll just go. I go. I I, I have BB on that be cutting uh, sabji and shit. I'll just go chill with them. They're like, yo, tell me the truth and shit. Don't lie to me. I'm like, what? They're like, yo, did you ever smoke on camera and shit? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> did you ever smoke on camera? That's crazy, bro. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was a while back and shit. So, yeah, man. It's been, um, it's, uh, <laughs> people still be hiding and shit, bro. People still be hiding. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the crazy That's funny, shit. That's funny, still. That's funny, yeah. still. So, I just sit, sit on the roof out there. But yo, I don't know about how played out this Kevin Durant shit is right now. At your end. But you think <laughs> this guy's one of the rappers or what? <laughs> nah, bro. Nah. Damn. It's that dry out there, right? There's nothing going on. But yo, to be honest... Good. To be honest, like right now is like summertime, bro. Right now, summertime, bro. Everyone's just chilling. And shit. Everyone's outside, fucking enjoying their fucking life. Dog. Mm-hmm. It's the first year back outside. You know what I mean? People, people ain't been outside in a long time. People ain't been outside in a long time, bro. So yeah. this summer, right? 
if you go like if you're driving around Toronto and shit, you don't really mm -hmm. like if you drive around Brampton, you don't really see people like outside on the street. But if you go places, it's popping. So it's get but like if when Carabana comes, it's gonna be lit. Every weekend there's like some kind of event festival. You know, if you go to a park and shit, it's popping and shit. Everyone's outside. Mm -hmm. Like, last couple of years, people wasn't really coming outside like that, bro. It, mm -hmm. Like, I don't know if you were here last summer, but yeah, people wasn't really outside. Yeah, like I, I was there last summer. Last summer was whatever. It was kind of like, uh, it, it was kind of like, yo, there's another wave coming and shit. But now, at least the masks are off there. Like, I, yeah, I don't yeah. even know what a fucking mask feels like and shit. To wear. Like, I, like as soon as we, as soon as I landed here and shit, like I had a mask on. But once we got here for job, the driver's like, "Yo, take off your mask and shit. This shit don't <laughs> matter." Oh, you wore it like oh, in the airplane and shit. Yeah, you gotta wear it in the like. It was strict when I came. Like I came in December, right? Yeah. So they had like strict, strict laws and shit, man. That shit was fucked up. Yeah. But it was chilling in the like it was chilling in Punjab. But if you had to go to Chandigarh, you had to have it on in your car. It was strict. It was strict as fuck. You had to have your yeah. vaccine passports here too, when you walk into restaurants. Right. That had helped like that. But in Punjab, like nobody gave a fuck. In the cities, yeah. it was it was like yo, people were getting ticketed and shit. But yeah, man. Um, people getting ticketed like recently. No, no, no. This is when I came. This is when I came down to, like, India. Like, in the beginning. December. When that wave hit. Remember that wave in, in December. Christmas? December. There, was a, there was a fucking wave in the Christmas and shit. I can't remember when we took masks off. Yo, yeah. fuck. This COVID shit fucked this shit up, man. I think I think we took off masks last summer, no? It was last summer in Canada. Did, did you guys just took masks off, like, this spring and shit, bro? We're on a fade for a while there. Nah, they ain't putting that shit back on. Yo, they're gonna be like, they're gonna shake niggas up like crazy right now. Sare dari on the apparent jo. Nah, man. They're There's not one person in Punjab wearing a mask right now. Yeah, not no one. one's wearing mask here. Well, people still wear it, but that's like, like for example, if they feel like it, like you don't really see. Like I'm sitting, I'm sitting across like, from a bus stop right now, right? Yeah. And not a single person at the bus stop wearing a mask. Not right now, anyway. But today's like plus the, 31, so it's super hot. Like, the vibe here is like, yo, if they tell us to do this shit again, we're going to fucking, we're ready to fucking sit on the streets. Like, if they like, try to pull this shit again. Like, people are done, man. Now, the most people they're going to try done. to do is make you take the vaccine every year. That's the most they're going to tell you to do this shit. Yo, fuck that shit. They're going to be like, take the vaccine, take the vaccine and shit. That's all they're going to say. They're going to be like, yo, you got to get the vaccine every, every eight months and shit, some bullshit like that. That's what they're going to... But, like, it's not going to be mandatory, but they're going to tell people. And then they might yeah, yeah, have, like, like then, then they might have, like, you know, that little passport system where, like, you might not be able to enter some certain space, like, for example, like, maybe, like, certain sections of the hospital unless if you're fully vaccinated as a guest and shit, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, you might not be able to go visit someone in the hospital, some stupid shit like that, you know what I mean? Like, there might be, mm -hmm. or maybe travel to certain countries or some shit. But like I don't think they're gonna I don't think they're gonna do like back to lockdowns and shit. But yo, you never know, bro. I never expected that the first time. But like Remember yo, I man, told so you? I'm like, yo, this shit's coming dog. and coming. You're like, nah, dog. This shit's done, yeah. bro. But yo, once once the NBA started back up and like I seen all that shit going and these guys like guys on the bench and shit, they were wearing no mask but they got tested positive or some stupid shit like that in the NFL. Right? Like mm -hmm. you could wear you could be positive but you could still sit on the bench or something. As long as you're not like side by side with every, I don't, some dumb shit, right? Like, like they were doing shit that seemed like questionable, and once shit seems questionable, like I don't think that that could slide like that, bro. I don't think like Yo. people are just gonna let that slide. You know what I mean? Like, people there's gonna, a lot of shit going on. I don't want to be called some conspiracy theorist and shit right now, but you, there's a lot of <laughs> shit going on. It's like. It, there's some shit going on in Sri Lanka. There's some shit going on in fucking Netherlands. There's a protest going on there. It's a bunch of shit, bro. I don't really fuck bro. with that shit, bro. I don't really fuck with that I don't shit. Need... Yo, let's just say they're saying that I'm simple as fuck, to... bro. I'm simple as fuck, bro. I don't really fucking care about, like, to me, every day just, like, get money. 
I don't really give a fuck what the fuck happens still. You know what I mean? Like, yo, the biggest shit that happened do you here think, with the Rodgers. Do you think, Rogers, do you think Rogers that's Rogers the problem, out, though? Rodgers went out like, for one day, bro. That's the biggest shit that happened here. Like, Rodgers went out for one day, and fucking shit was hectic, bro. Motherfuckers wasn't accepting debit cards. Some places, yo, the, there was no visa machines working so, and shit. So because like, of that, do you think there has to be... from the bank and shit. So A lot the... of shit, like... You gotta that keep shit cash on you, fam. You gotta keep yeah, cash that on shit made people time, realize bro. about digital currency and shit. Like yeah, like they try that, but like it was still it was still half decent. Like some places would be like, yo, only our visa works. You know what I mean? But like ATMs and shit weren't. Some of them, most of them weren't working. But Damn. Like it was still like you could still get by and shit, but it was kind of fucked. If it was a little more impactful, people would be like going crazy right now. But it don't, yeah. It was a full day, bro. Like, I woke up that day. I went to work. On the way to work, my phone wasn't working. So I was like, "What the fuck?" So I turned it off three or four times at the gas station and shit. Still uh-huh. not working. Then I'm like, "All right, I can't work without my phone." So I go home and shit. Uh, when I go home, I get the Wi-Fi, and I go on Twitter and I check Rogers and shit. I'm like, bro, I just paid a $1,500 bill, bro. Like, what the fuck? And, uh, like, why the fuck is my shit out? That's what, so I was like, where the fuck is my shit out, right? So. That's fucked up. 1500 I checked Twitter or whatever the fuck, bro. That's the only place I could find any information, bro. 1500 for what, bro? Oh, like three months. It's so. mad over price. Three, yeah, it's mad over price, bro. I paid 1500 bucks for three the last three months and shit. And I'm pretty sure I paid them 300 at one point too, like in the middle of those three months. In those middle of those three months. Why are people okay with this? Yo, to be honest, motherfuckers are okay because they make money. If they don't make money, then it's an issue. You know what I mean? But like when you're making money, you're just like. I mean, like yo, like when when people are only making money, like when you know you're only making money for food and energy costs, which is fuel and your bills. Yeah. And you can't, like, yeah. a lot of people can't, like, at this, because cause the cost of living got so expensive all of a sudden that people are literally just able to cover their energy expenses and their food expenses. Everything else is, like, like, you saw, yeah, like, there's people out there that can afford their luxury lifestyle like they used to go to travel. But, but I, I look at it like this. I don't look at it that way. I look at it like this, right? Like, okay, if I could make 5K a month, right? If I could make 5K uh-huh. a month... Or right, like that's like like that's my minimum goal, right? Like mm-hmm. if I make five k for the month minimum, after ten months that's fifty k. After twenty months, that's fucking a hundred k, right? Mm-hmm. So in twenty months I could make hundred k. Now if I could if I could speed that up to get like sixty five hundred or seventy seven thousand for a month, right? Then I'm mm-hmm. gonna get that hundred k a little faster. Now there's expenses I have to. I have to have like to live and shit, right? Like I gotta, uh-huh. you, know, you know what I'm saying? So I need, uh-huh. I need expenses to live. So that's not pocket money, but Man, like the money's room. coming, the money's coming and going. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's, it's, know, it's operating expenses and shit. Yeah, but, but it's not like as long you're as not it's able not to... like if you could, if you're only bringing in 50k for like example, if you're only making 25k a year, then it becomes an issue. Right, because a lot yeah, of people yeah, only yeah. make thirty k and shit, thirty two k and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then it becomes that, that, tight and shit. You know then you saying? can only make that one weekend Niagara Falls trip yeah. and shit. Or if you gotta pay a taxes year. on that fifty k, right? Like, oh, like I'm talking about no taxes, because I'm talking about <laughs> deductions and shit, right? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But There's if you gotta pay, rules. yeah. But if you gotta pay tax on that, like if you that's your job, and you get fifty k, then you are gonna pay tax on that shit. Then it's really like. Not it's still not enough. That's crazy. So bro. that's that's the way that I do the math for me. Like that's the way I like I look at the math. I look at it like numbers and shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. I haven't I haven't been paying sh- like here, bro. It was like I don't have to worry about shit. Now it's gonna be all like details about your expenses, your taxes, everything. Like in Canada, it's all. It's different, man. Yeah, yeah. It's just different. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 
<laughs> yeah, man. That's a different. It's, uh, it's definitely different still. So, because in India, if you hit a lick in Canada, like you're I'm good. Gonna, if you hit a lick every month, at least once. If you hit one lick, in, if you hit one lick a month over here, but you're sitting yeah. over there, but you're sitting over there, it's a, it's a, it's a much better fucking uh, lifestyle. Yeah, like even the whole real estate aging gig. Here's the thing, right? right? You have to invest back into your uh, business, like whatever money you're making. You still gotta keep yeah. throwing it back until your shit pops. And that can take a long time in a competitive market. It's not like, okay, got a bitch, dollar, 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 one of my whole course, jage, got a No, you got to keep putting it back in your business and keep growing it. People think, oh, I'm just going to get my fucking license and I'm going to sell one, two properties and I don't have to go do the full time uh, job and shit. It just cuts, I don't have to go do all that. But you're still paying all these business expenses and taxes and, and it's just, you know, it's, Is there a school it's, it's too? Crazy. You don't have to stay in school for that shit? You have to keep doing courses, but you still have to keep paying fees for, uh, like, the programs and the softwares and insurance and office fees and overhead, and you still got to wear dope gear, right? Did you find any talent in India? Yes, sir. Yes, I did. But, yo, um, <laughs> so the thing, the thing is the businesses, um, when you run a business like that, it's it's you gotta babysit it twenty four seven. You can't just treat it like it's a job. And you know, the 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 real estate market is getting banged right now, bro. Like shit's coming down. Shit's coming yeah, down yeah. right now. People still get the moves by by it. Shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna cop on the low if I get it. Second hand mortgage and shit, man. Well, they put they put in a lot of fucking new new rules and shit still. But I don't yeah, know. like interest rates and shit. Like, yo, they're making it harder for you to borrow money, right? It, it was a seller's market where Even sellers... Foreign, were fu- didn't they fuck like up the, the foreign buyer game, bro? They fucked up the foreign buyer. Yeah, yeah, the foreign investors, right? So the yeah. sellers sellers were acting mad like, yo, uh, like they had multiple offers coming in and we would be like, you know, trying to compete with offers like, okay, Panja Hayar over asking, uh, Ekalak over asking, 200,000 over asking. Like, numbers were going crazy. And, you know, uh, like, houses were getting sold within like hours of going on listing and shit. Like, people were making offers without like even looking at any conditions, without even inspecting the house. They were just like, yo, buy right out. So they were being sold so high. Now, it's getting harder to sell. So the house is sitting on the market. Now the buyers have a choice. Now they're acting cocky. Like, yo, we don't want this shit. Put this shit down. Like, you know, the market's hurting now. So Yo, it's... Current, yo, current, yo current. Toronto downtown, not so much. Yo, current's a real estate, yeah. bro. This guy's a real tip. Yo, yo, let me know. I got mad. I like kids coming to Canada and shit here <laughs> that need houses there and shit. Let's do some business. Is these second hand mortgages? Don't hustle the kids, dog. Don't hustle the kids, bro. No. They want to pay. They want to pay. I don't think they're doing it. They're not 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 no, Cards, I, was I, so, I was so judgmental. I was so judgmental. Should I sell my India to me? Should I sell my India to me? Nah, man. Don't sell, never sell your India to me, bro. I need you to acquire more to me, not sell your to me. That's not business. I just got more. I just got more still. So. Like, yo. I got if you more, can but flip I it, yeah. Like, league, I'll give you an dude. example. I'll give you I an example. In, uh, if you I got it in, um, you know, Bernala? you know, Bernala? Yeah, 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 yeah. So here, if you, if you, okay, here, here are some people doing business moves here. They have Jameen in some friend, like, you know how, like, Sidhu Musiala's friend was, like, unknown, far away. Like, his land wasn't known for farming. Like, they had to, like, basically to make it like that, pave it out to uh, Bonnie Bendia, Jameen, to make it even being able to farm on that type of land. 
So there's so fairs and areas. Just, just sweet. Just That's sweet. why it was called. It, it, it was called Tebe. Like Tebe are like hills and shit, little hills. Like Tebe right, are the right. and shit, right? So yeah, like yeah. he didn't have proper like fertile land to um, farm, so they had to like use tractors and pave the whole way and flatten it out to farm. So if you have Jameen in that kind of area where it is not worth a lot, you know what people are doing? They're buying flats like these, which are like going up and like. You know, you put you. They're they're flipping this shit. They're, they're selling their jameen. They're buying uh, uh, flats. They're buying plots. They're what building city are you in? What city are you in? I'm in Ludiana right now. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Right. So yeah. people are flipping that shit, and they're buying little plots. They're cutting little plots. So, so but the thing in here is, it's not guaranteed a hit. It could be a hit or a miss. Like you can buy something with a developer, and the developer is gonna declare like bankruptcy and shit. So it's like. There's a lot of schemes here, so but the whole condominium, uh, like complex, gym, pool, all this shit is becoming like the trend down here. Like because we have such a u- big youth in India, like the biggest population is the youth. They want they want like this type of lifestyle, the condo livings. Whereas like the old school. So who's living the in there? Who's living in those cribs? And these wealthy people in this area, in this colony, you can luck out. Nah, like, are they operating a jet? Are they businessmen? Lali and Lali and shit. Lali and shit. Young couples, business young couples people, doctors, where? young couples from where? Lawyers. Where? From okay, so Ludhiana is like a very mixed crowd. It's not just Punjabi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got like all types yeah, yeah. of people here in the cities. So you got people from Chandigarh moving, and yo, there's people that basically when they come down to Punjab and they see the cost of living compared to like Bombay, all these other states, uh, Maharashtra, they're like, yo. Might as well fucking move to Punjab. The cost of living oh, is so cheap. Oh, so they're gentrifying. Here. They're gentrifying it. Yeah. Is that, so is that what it is? Our people are moving out where these guys are developing sick amenities, and it's getting taken <laughs> over. So like true. our our That's people hilarious. are buying. Like we're selling, and these guys are buying. They're sure. acquiring more and more land. And the thing is, you can actually grow luxury Who's luxury companies as the companies. The Lalinj. Big companies or yeah, or... yeah, yeah, the big yeah, companies, yeah. the corporations. So what's is happening it is the judge, is it builders the judge, buying it? Well, it's like the average guy who buys it and then cuts it, right? Like cuts it as in cuts it into plots. So what's it called? Uh, service, servicing, servants, servants, yeah, whatever that shit is. Severance, right? Cutting it up, and then they basically have people like <laughs> me. Yo, that's the funniest shit yo, I've ever heard. Though. Did you get deported? Yo, no, not yet. I didn't get deported yet. <laughs> yo. Yo. Yo, that's the yo, truth. Shit I've ever seen. Yo, I just came to work from home and shit, bro. They told me yo, I work to from be home. Honest, I think you're going to get deported from India back to Canada, bro. Why, bro? They're going to deport you back and shit. Why? Why would they do that? I'm born here and shit. It's my birthright. <laughs> it's my mitti and shit. But yeah, True. yo. So basically, they're basically buying land. They're cutting it up, and people like me is uh, are like from the parent being like, "Yo, I want to move to the shed," and I end up buying a plot and build a nice quality. Like it's pretty simple. I don't think that much people do that. People are doing it, man. Yeah. Yeah, so like, like I'm in this shit so all like day. A, like, a, kid, a kid, a kid from Punjab, like in the parent and shit, goes to university and shit, and then cops a crib there and. and if he ends up selling a wifey, few kille, if he and, yeah, if he if he has, nah, like, uh, say if it's a good job. Or something like you know, yeah, like, yeah. like yo, it's mainly the business, to, man. It. It's like the non Punjabi business people, man. Like, our judge farmers ain't doing that. That's my whole, the judge farmer, exactly yeah, these guys that's will buy up a flat just to like go rent sucks. a flat to bang pussy, like you know, bang bitches and shit, <laughs> like on the weekend. Like, no, the yeah, bunch do of they still rent, do they still rent rooms for an hour in Punjab? Uh, I don't know, I didn't do that, they shit. Like, but yo, people. People, know, people, know. people actually, yo, people actually like six, seven boys come together. They'll get a flat just to just to bang a bitch uh, during the week, like you know. Yeah, yeah. So they there's Airbnb that, that shit. They got yeah, Airbnb like yo, it's there. different here. They got Airbnb over there. Yeah, they got Airbnb. They got some other shit too. Like they got they got a lot of shit here, man. This shit's way more advanced Uber. here. They definitely got Uber. Shit's way yeah yeah Uber fucking. There's another one Ola Ola and shit. True, true, true. India, India likes India made shit. Of course, they don't like that, you know. So anything yeah. you make out there, they're just gonna make their Indian version of it. 
yeah, for sure, bro. What I like about Uber here is you can pay cash on delivery. Oh, true. That's a different vibe, cash bro. after, like a taxi. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. So, I'm finally getting used to this shit, but now I got to come back for a few months. Sure. Fuck. Yeah, what are you saying now? Not much, bro. I'm gonna go back to the crib, bro. Go back to the crib. All right, bro. Take, take it easy. I'm gonna go do right, med- yeah. medication. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. easy, bro. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy, easy.